the very the very 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 you wanted me to jump off the bridge i finally have jumped you wanted to bring me down you finally have brought me and my family down I've finally done it Barry Bonds's volatile relationship with journalists is well documented. Just a few days into spring training this year, Bonds made clear at a press conference exactly what he thought of the gathered sports reporters. All of you lied. All of you have said something wrong. All of you have dirt. All of you. When your closet's clean, then come clean somebody else's. But clean yours first. Bonds' relationship with the media is a rocky one simply because he wants it to be. You go negative with me, I'm walking out of here. I hesitate to call it a relationship because it's not like he necessarily gets to know the reporters who are covering him or that the reporters covering Barry Bonds really get to know him. Hey, hey, go. I don't get the sense that Barry cares about that one iota and that there's anything that's going to break the ice in that really frosty relationship. To me, everybody wants something from Barry. It's always they want, want, want. Uh, I want your time, I want this, I want that. The guy basically has no freedom when he comes to the, the ballpark or when he leaves the ballpark. We have to write about Barry. We have to talk about Barry. If you're putting up numbers like he is and you're changing the game the way he is, you gotta talk about it. It's true. Bonds' achievements have been so spectacular and the steroid controversy surrounding him so significant and complex that he has transcended sports, becoming fodder for editorial cartoons and appearing nearly as often on front pages as sports pages. Barry's not going to get the benefit of the doubt from a media standpoint. Talk show hosts, columnists around the country are going to take swipes at Bonds here from, you know, now until he breaks Henry Aaron's record, and it's not going to be a pleasant situation. Bonds' discomfort with media has deep roots, perhaps before his days with the Pirates, maybe even before he played at Arizona State. It might go back as far as his childhood. Barry grew up in a clubhouse where there was an adversarial relationship in the media with, with uh, Willie Mays, his godfather, and with his dad. They both did not have great relationships with the media. I think Barry saw that his father and godfather would take advantage of, ripped unnecessarily. And I think he kind of developed a shell. I mean, is this like candid camera today? Over there. I don't want anyone in my face. Man, I'm going to break that damn thing if you put it on me. Now get it off. You can say that he's nasty with the media, but the one thing about him is he's very consistent. There's nothing phony about him. He is what he is, and take it or leave it. He likes to put that tough veneer out there sometimes. He thrives off it. He thrives off the confrontation. I think sometimes he has said, you know, I'm just being too nice a guy to you guys and it's affecting me out on the field. Chances are Bonds' relationship with the media may not improve even if he is able to continue pursuing the most historic number in sports, 755 home runs. It's a situation for which both sides, Bonds and the media, are probably to blame. Barry sometimes uh, just does not understand or does not seem to want to understand the kind of job we have to do and the questions we have to ask. On the other hand, if I were getting some of the pot shots that Barry has gotten over the years unnecessarily, uh, I would be wary of the media too. To me right now, it's almost like the, the hole is dug so deep that it's, it's hard for him to climb out of it. You know, I, I, I see a lot of uh, good things he does and the way he treats people. Um, but it seems just like all the negative things are, are captured or talked about. He doesn't allow you to get close to him. So as he doesn't show you any vulnerability. So as a result of that, how do you expect to get close to him? He's a very, very difficult subject. He really is. I'm done. You know, I'm tired of my kids crying. It's tired. Let's go home.